Have you ever tried to get an action shot with your phone, but you ended up with blurry photos? Or maybe you try to take a photo at night, and right as you take the photo, you accidentally move the phone slightly, and your photo comes out like this. Well, the problem is your phone's shutter speed is just not where you want it to be. And there's two easy ways that you can control it. So if you didn't already know, shutter speed is basically the amount of time it takes for your camera to look at a scene and capture all of that light data and turn it into a photo. So a slower shutter speed basically means that our camera is looking at a scene for a longer period of time. But the longer we look at a scene, the more likely we are to capture some type of motion within that scene. When that happens in our photos, we get something called motion blur. In our first example, our subject is moving, causing motion blur. And in our second example, our camera is moving, also causing motion blur. A way we can avoid this type of blur is by making our shutter speed faster, giving it less opportunity to capture that motion. But how do we do that? So by default, your phone actually controls shutter speed automatically. Most of the time it does a pretty good job, but sometimes you may want to have a little bit more influence in its decision making. The first way we can actually control our shutter speed is by simply just adding more light. Let me show you. Right here, I'm standing in the shade. As I drop the golf ball and take a photo, you can clearly see the motion blur on the ball. If I take a step outside into direct sunlight, you can see that the golf ball now looks frozen in midair. Our phone just automatically adjusted our shutter speed to be faster. Because the sun is so bright, our phone's camera didn't have to look at the scene for that long and it had enough light it needed in a shorter period of time to take what it thought was a well-exposed photo. But when you add more light, it doesn't always have to be the sun. It could be as simple as turning the flash on your phone or just moving your subject to a more well-lit area. But I get it, sometimes you can't move your subject and sometimes you can't use a flash. But that's where you can use the second method, which is controlling your shutter speed manually with an app like Light room or moment. While you're in these apps, you use the camera feature and simply adjust the shutter speed to your liking. But just a little warning, you should be careful when using this method. If you push the shutter speed a little too fast and there's not enough light in your scene, your camera's gonna end up compensating for that lack of light by bumping up the ISO, which is gonna make your photo look grainy and probably not the best quality. So if you have an option, always add more light if you can. But also know that you have a couple options when it comes to this stuff. You should be shooting in RAW, by the way. It'll make your low light game so much better. That's a different story though. That's a different video. Hope this helps.